over y to the fourth. Now some of you may say to yourself, well, that x is going to be okay because 5 is greater than 3. But I don't like this because that's going to give me a negative exponent. So take that y to the negative 2 down. And that will give you x to the fifth over x to the third times 1 over y to the fourth times y to the second. Now what can I do here? The quotient rule and subtract, you get x to the second, x to the 5 minus 3, oops. And what's on the bottom? y to the 4 plus what? 2. Shouldn't that be a negative 2? You're right, thank you. There, minus 2. Be a minus. I knew something was wrong. I kept looking at it and said, where did I go wrong? I did that on purpose just to see if y'all were awake. All right. And that will give us x squared. <coughs> x squared over what? Did we do it a different way? Did we get the same answer? Yes. There's a couple more ways you can do it. The whole point is it doesn't matter what you do first as long as you do it correctly. Yes. You just can't start making up rules like, well, I'm just going to erase that negative forward. No, you can't do that. That's illegal. It's something Hubert used to do. Okay? Now, that's, that's a good test question, something like that. I mean, you get... I'll give you another one. X to the fourth times Y to the third over X to the negative third, Y to the fifth, all raised to the negative second power. Now, you can do this one three or four different ways. Some people start with the power rule. Some people start with the inverse rule, inverse power rule. You can do several different things. So I'm going to give you a second or two to work on it. The main thing is, don't think that you have to do it in a certain order. And if you can't do it, just mark it up as you should quit. Did you get it to work? I mean, your no, sir. It, the phone number that you gave me kept disconnecting. Hey, you just having all kind of problems. Well, it goes with me. It disconnected or sends you to a voicemail. Uh, it kept dropping the call. Basically, I tried three times. Oh. Okay. Good stuff, man. I know. I appreciate. I appreciate you trying. Though. Maybe we can figure it out after. Yeah, or figure it out after the test is over, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I said after the test is over, I'm going to have 15 people go, we have a test, we have a test. <laughs> All right. You should be three-quarters of the way through. It's not that difficult. Let's say you want to use the power rule first. 
I wouldn't because it's going to cause even more of a mess. But if you use the power rule, what can I do with that negative 2? Distribute it, basically. And that will give me x to the negative 8, y to the negative 6, over x to the positive 6, y to the negative 10. That's the net, that's the positive. I'm making sure my signs are right. Negative, negative, yeah. Now, what's broke? A lot of it. Well, the X is broke right here. Take it down. Take this one up. Take this one down. And we're going to get X or Y to the 10th over Y to the 6th times 1 over X to the 6th times X to the 8th. You could use the quotient rule here, and that will give you what? Y to the what? What's 10 minus 6? Y to the 4th. And what's 6 plus 8? Now that's what I got. Let's do it another way and see what we get. Now. Do you want the positive exponent on top? I mean, you want the positive exponent wherever it's positive. I'm talking about the line that acts like the Yeah, it would, yeah. But you can't, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be on top. The Y is on top. At least <coughs> by this one, we'll check it on the next one to see what happens. Now, is this the most difficult, the, the not the most difficult, but the yuckiest way to do it, yes, it's the yuckiest way because it makes all the it makes all the exponents what pretty much negative. So I wouldn't suggest that. What I would probably do is go ahead and do your quotient rule in here. That's what I would do probably. So I'm going to draw a line here, and hopefully you will get the same answer. So let's. See what we do. Let's see what we got. X to the 4 minus a negative 3, using the quotient rule. And Y to the what? 3 minus 5, Hubert. Thank you, class. Appreciate the interaction. <laughs> okay, what is 4? Minus a negative 3. What? 4 to the 7. I mean, x to the 7, thank you. Times, what's y to the 3 minus 5? Raised to the negative 2 power. Now use your power rule. And that's going to give us <coughs> x to the negative 14 times y to the what? And what is that? Same thing. There's two or three other ways you could have done it. Is that both? That one right there is supposed to be negative two. Both. Of the, this is the answer for both of. Them. What do you mean? Uh, that's a negative x and negative fourteen there, but on that one is a positive fourteen. Yeah. Well, this is all over one. And what's oh, broke? We're not through with it. Okay. What's broke? That's broke. So bring it down, and it becomes that. You get the same answer. What else could we have done right here? Well, you could have done the inverse rule. You could have done, see, what we did here is we used the power rule, then we used the quotient rule. You could have used the inverse rule. And done this. X to the 4 times X to the 3rd over y to the 5th times y to the 
negative third. What did I do? Tell me what I did. I want you to tell me what I did though. What did I do? I brought the x what? To the negative third. I brought it what? Uh, up. And what did I do with the y to the third? And now I just used my product rule. What's 4 plus 3? 7. 7, you were thinking. And what's 5 minus 3? 2. And that gives me x to the negative 14 over y to the what? 4th, negative 4th. And what do you do to make those positive? Do you see what I mean? If you do everything the correct way, you're going to get the answer no matter what way you do it. You want me to show you one everybody misses? It's real simple. Yes, Hubert. No, Hubert. Thank you yes, for the interaction. Hubert. That's what everybody misses. Can somebody tell me why they miss it? And it's not the negative. That's it. This is two to the what power right here? To the first. You have to distribute that three using the power rule with that one. And you get 2 to the 3rd, x to the 12th, y to the negative 9th. And 2 to the 3rd is 8, x to the 12th, <coughs> y to the negative 9th. Which one's broke? So bring it downstairs. That's over 1. So bring it downstairs. Your final answer is 8, x to the 12th, over y to the 9th. How do students get it wrong? This is what they put. 2x to the 12th, y to the negative 9th. And then they say 2x to the 12th, y to the 9th. And that's what they put. And that's wrong because of that. So this is the correct answer. And that is pretty much the exponential laws. Now, the last section, well, of 2.6 I want to cover and I want to spend some time on. I'm going to spend time on this in next class on scientific notation because a lot of you have problems with scientific notation. And if you don't have it here, you have it in chemistry or wherever. And a lot has to do with pretty much the definition. The definition of scientific notation. If I was to ask everybody in here to write down the definition of scientific notation, probably none of you would get it correct. Okay? Even those that think they invented it. The reason is they don't know the definition. They just don't know it. They say, oh, that's that thing we do with the tens. Yeah, but that's not the definition. The definition of scientific notation. And this is a Hubertism definition. In other words, I cut out all the stuff that you don't know <coughs> what the meaning of the words are. Placing the decimal to the right of the first number greater than zero. Now, first of all, let me explain to you that not a lot of people get scientific notation wrong because they don't know how to turn a number into scientific notation. That's not where students get it wrong. I'll show you where students get it wrong. 
Now, a lot of people say, well, Hubert, I don't know which way to move it. Well, let's take something simple. One million. Now, we've got to go back to which way do we read? <coughs> well, unless you're from the Middle East, you read left to right. So where is the first number greater than zero? So your decimal needs to go right there. I love when I explain scientific notation. I'll tell you the first thing. Well, I don't know which, which way to read the number. Let's see, you're in college. That means you're at a minimum of 18 years. The minimum of 18 years you've been reading from left to right. And suddenly that's going to change. You'd be surprised. People don't read left to right in math. They think they can read from right to left for some reason. So that takes care of this. Because now you know to read left to right. And the decimal on one million, all whole numbers, the decimal is assumed to be... <coughs> Right there. Now, I'm going to move the decimal here in just a minute. I do not want anybody to say right or left. Please do not say that. Because that's where students get it wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I'm going to rewrite my number as one point zero times 10 to the blank 6. Now, I've been teaching a long time. And I know where students get things wrong. Do they get the 1 wrong? No. Do they get the 10 wrong? No. Do they get the 6 wrong? No. no. What do they get wrong? Negative. The sign. So I come up with a way of fixing that. This is a Hubertism. It ain't going to be in your book. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. If you do these problems right, then you don't need to listen to this, okay? If you suck at it, you pretty much know you suck at scientific notation, don't you? I mean, you do. So if you suck at it, listen. If you think you're good at it, then don't listen. Mentally. What does mentally mean? In your mind. In your mind. I need to tell people that because... Well, you, know, you didn't tell us to move it. No, I didn't. I said mentally. Ask yourself. Which way do I move the decimal to get back to the original. And that's this decimal right here. Okay? That decimal right there. Mentally ask yourself, which way do I move this decimal to get it back the way it was? Which way did I move this decimal? This decimal. Which way? To the right. To the right. So it's positive. Now, there's two types of people in here. One is saying, well, that's stupid. I'm not talking to you. All right? The other one is saying, okay, I can do that. If you can do that, then you're not going to miss the ones that everybody else misses. And when we get to those... You'll see what I'm talking about. So let's do a nerd. Point zero 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 three one four. Which way do we read? Left to right. Where is the first number greater than zero? It's a miracle. So we're going to put the decimal right there. So we rewrite it as 3.14 times 10 to the blank 
One, two, three, four, five. Which way do we move this decimal in our head to get it back the way it was? To the left. And that's negative. Okay, you're not listening for some of y'all that said the wrong thing. Look at this decimal right here. Both, both of these, this is pointing here or here, right here. This decimal, I'm not, I'm not talking about this decimal, I'm talking about this one. <coughs> and I'm not moving it because I'm telling you to do it mentally. Which way do you move this decimal to get it back the way it was? To the left, and it's negative. And I always get students, when I, when I do this, I always get one that go, well, I had a teacher. I'm not talking to you. Okay. I had a teacher that told me that it was a big number, you do it to the right, and it was a small number, it's to the left. It's always negative. And those are the people that get the ones that I'm going to show you. They get them wrong, that's the ones that get them wrong. So I would, if, if you suck at this, then you might want to write that down. Okay? So this is not what people mess up. People get these right. Will I put these on a test? No. The ones I'm going to put on a test is the next ones we're going to go over. So let's do one. Let's do this one. Let's do something simple. One you don't even need a calculator for. Unless you don't know how to do multiplication tables. Uh, three times ten to the fourth times 9 times 10 to the 7. Now, at this point, there's two or three people. One person going, okay, 3 times 9 is blah, blah, blah. Another person's going, I don't know how to do this. He ain't shown us yet. Well, 3 times 9 is what? 27. And these two guys have the same one. Well, they have the same base. What do you do to the exponents? Y'all are so smart. Times 10 to the 4 plus 7. So 27 times 10 to the 11th power. Again, most people do this, not a problem. What's the problem? not in scientific notation. Why is it not in scientific notation? Because the decimal is behind the what? Seven. It's got to be behind the two. two. Well, that's only one place, Hubert. Well, y'all don't get that wrong either. What do you get wrong? The sign. And it either comes out to be ten, ten to the tenth, or 10 to the 11th. There's a choice there. One of them's right, one of them's wrong. And the sign dictates which one you get. So, everybody agrees that the decimal is right here, and we got to move it right there. Everybody agrees with that. So that's 2.7 times 10 to the 11 blank 1. Now, which way in my head do I move this decimal to get it back the way it was? To the right. To the right. And you got it right. So the answer is to the 12. So 2.7 times 10 to the 12. That's the answer. So if you have 10 to the 10, your way is broken. <coughs> now that's a very basic one. Very simple. We're going to do another one, and then y'all can be discouraged. Okay? Ready? No, you do not need to calculate. It. 
If you need help, 50 plus 20 is 70. So what is 5 times 14? 70. And what's negative 3 plus 5? Now, do the last step. And I'm sure y'all have this. I mean, I'm sure y'all have the one. They y'all, they ain't got, I ain't got any problem with saying that all of you know it's one. Way did I move this decimal in my head to get it back the way it was? To the right? So your final answer is 7.0 times 10 to the third or 7 1. Now the reason I wrote it as 7,000, 1, 2, 3, is you actually did it in your head. You took one four. Let's see, that's one <coughs> three. You took point zero one four and you multiplied it times five hundred thousand. You took point zero one four in your head and you multiplied it by five hundred thousand and you got seven thousand. There's somebody in here going, I cannot believe it's that simple. That's why we have people that don't know how to make change because they wasn't taught how to do simple stuff in high school or junior high. Yes, ma'am. I explained that 50,000 again. I missed that. What? The point this, zero one four. This right I here. said where you got the point one four. Yeah, that's okay. this. That's that. And this is right here. Oh, okay. Okay. See? Oh. Yeah. See, that's what you're actually doing. You're taking this very small number mm -hmm. and you're multiplying it by this BA number in which you'd have to use what? Calculator. Calculator. But see, people have not been taught how to do this. Because I guarantee you somebody in here is going, I was always told to use a calculator for that. Don't raise your hand. You don't have to. And you can do it with division also. Call the roll while y'all doing that because I'm going to let y'all go early today because I've got a meeting to get to. And I that just breaks y'all's heart. <coughs> so so I have to post the video later because I ain't going to be able to do it right after class like I usually do it.
Allen. Yep. Bird. Here. Bedenbender. Here. Uh, Bowens. Cowan. No Cowan. Ebright. Here. Edwards. Here. Eubanks. Here. Hill. Here. Two Joneses. Here. Here. That's a, Jordan. Lawless. Here. Zanna. Zanna's not here today. Porter. Here. Rodriguez. Here. I know May's here. What about CG? Right here. Okay. And Terry. Here. Watts. Here. And Wiles. Here. Okay, that's done. All right, let's look at this one. I don't know how to pull this thing back up. What's 45 divided by? Everybody can do that. What's 45 divided by 3? 15. You better be able to do that. And what's 4 divided? What's 4 minus 3? Uh, 7 minus 3? 4. So 1.5. Times 10 to the 4 blank 1. Which way to get it back the way it was? So, technically, the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 150,000. Or 1.5 times 10 to the 5th power. What did you do? Well, you took 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You took 45 million and you divided it by 3,000. Some of y'all actually think that's pretty neat. All right. Yes, ma'am. On the test, uh, what answer format do you want? It'll tell you. It'll say put it in scientific notation. <coughs> this would be 1.5 times 10 to the fifth. Or it'll say put in regular notation. It will not. It will not. Say it, it will not ask for this. Okay. It'll ask for this or this. Y'all have a good day.